can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me. I can only imagine.
choice. Choose the memories that you focus on. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 says this. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. The memories you choose to focus on will determine whether you walk in God's peace and joy or whether you walk in frustration and confusion. So choose your memories carefully. David Harkin wrote this. He said, you can shed, shed tears that he's gone or you can smile because he lived. You can close your eyes and pray that he'll come back or you can open your eyes and see all that he left. Your heart can be empty because you can't see him. Or you can be full because of the love you shared with him. You can turn your back on tomorrow and live in yesterday. Or you can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. You can remember only that he's gone or you can cherish his memory and let it live on. You can cry and close your mind, be empty and turn your back. Or you can do what he wants, smile, open your eyes, love, and go on. The second thing about remembering is I want to challenge you to remember God's promises and to be with you during this time. Psalms 46.10 says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in a time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way, the mountains fall into the midst of the sea. Three times in Psalms 46. Only 11 verses, but three, ver three verses says the thing, same thing. God is our refuge strength. Draw strength in the presence of God. 1 Peter chapter 5 tells us to cast all of our anxiety, all of our cares on Him because He cares for us. So talk to God. Release your cares to Him during this time. The second word is the word release. Release first of all Omar into our hands, the hands of a God that loves Him more than any of us could ever love Him. He's in the hands of the one He loves, the Savior. say, well, you preach that person into heaven. You didn't preach them into heaven. I've never preached anybody into heaven. I can't. Nobody can do that. It's our decision individually whether we make it to heaven or not. But we don't make it to heaven because of our goodness, because all of us will be in trouble. That's the truth. We make it to heaven because of the goodness, the mercy, and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Release your hurt, your feelings, and the questions to God. There you God how you feel during this time. Say, well, I could never, I've heard people say, well, I could never say that to God. Why not? Have you read the Psalms? The Psalms are full of David's crying out to God. I mean, sometimes he's saying, I want you to kill my enemies. He even said, kill their babies. He was, he was just pouring his heart out, whatever he was feeling. That's what he was saying.
God and thy staff they come. The valley of death is something that we walk through. It's not something that we stay at. It's something that we pass through. Death is simply an, ex an exchange. It's when we exchange the mortal body. Uh, Omar's mortal body was crippled many years ago. He had a lot of pain. He didn't complain much. He didn't write much about that. stand in awe to be able to talk to the Lord and have him talk to you. What a miracle. Omar is in the presence of the Lord. We can have that assurance if we'll make things right today. And it's just as simple as acknowledging our sin and our need of a Savior. Let's pray and we're going to have a great song to close our time with you. Father, we ask at the beginning of this time that you would be with us and we felt your presence, Lord. What a beautiful day. Beautiful Southern California day with the wind blowing. Lord, you couldn't get any better than this. But then we think it is. There is something to look forward that's better than this. And that's that's eternity with you, Lord. When we won't worry about the temperature, when we won't worry about the economy, when we won't worry about COVID, when all those things will be behind us and we'll be in your presence for eternity. Thank you, Lord, that Omar, we know Omar's there because he accepted you. Lord, I pray that every daughter, every son, every granddaughter, and every grandson, every family member, every friend that watches this would acknowledge their need of you. Lord, we thank you that you said, if any man comes to me, I will not turn him away. Lord, that's a promise we hold on today. The Lord, thanks again for your peace. Thanks again, Lord, for the promise that you'll help us through these next days and weeks to come. And Lord, we trust you precious and powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Listen to this great song called I Can Only Imagine.
worship you. I can only imagine